So hello guys, this is the man Rapigify here once again, back at you with another video, and in this video I'll be taking a look at the A94 Abokan for your Assault class, one of my favorite and most unique weapons for the Assault class. Now if you wish to be taken to the summary part of this video, click on the A94 on your screen right now, if not, watch the whole video and you get everything you need to know about the A94 Abokan. Before I get into the weapon review, I would like to give one quick shout out to Voidman52 for asking for a shout out in a PM. And about the gameplay, the first two gameplays that you'll see, which will be on Marshtur and Myanmar, will be without any attachments, so with the bear gun itself, signified by the red dot with a cross root, and the second part will be with the red dot without the cross root, signifying that it is with attachments, and the attachments that I will be using then will be the red dot, or M145 along with the Viper Max, Tactical Stock and Precision Barrel. Now the A94 is a very unique weapon for the Assault class. I will first talk about the price because it is an extremely cheap weapon for the Assault class if you haven't noticed already. I would very 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 highly recommend anybody to purchase this weapon with credits. The A94 clocks in at 17,500 credits, which in my opinion can easily, easily be obtained by anybody, so this weapon is not out of reach for anybody playing this game. Now without attachments, this weapon can performs actually quite well to my surprise, and with attachments it becomes an absolute beast. I recommend you purchasing, purchasing this weapon with funds. Uh, only if you don't have the time to um, you know, go for the credits, but I strongly recommend grinding for the credits and getting this weapon because it is a lot of fun to use, especially if you know that you worked for it and actually bought it with credits, which is what I did. Now the A94 is a 2 burst assault rifle, which is something very unique in Battlefield Play for Free because there is unlike it's unlike any weapon in the assault class. Uh, the M16A3 is similar to it in it that it shoots a 3 burst, however the sheer rate of fire and just the 2 burst compared to the 3 burst is very nice of the A94. Speaking of rate of fire, the A94 has an extremely fast rate of fire. If you shoot the A94, you will notice that it shoots 2 bullets very rapidly after one another. And the settle times allow you to actually shoot very, very many bursts after one another, actually turning it to a, turning it into a, you know, fully automatic weapon with the correct trigger finger. Now the recoil of the A94, in my opinion, is one of the one of the lowest in Battlefield Play for free. Uh, when you shoot the A94, especially even without attachments, the weapon only kicks up about an inch or two off your screen, allowing you to be able to reset the aim now sights very fast and actually line up for your second shot. Now one thing where the A94 does have quite a bit of a problem, I would say, is in the deviation department. Because it shoots two bullets at a time, um, the first bullet might land exactly where you aimed, but the second bullet will not land exactly in the same spot, especially over longer ranges. So using this weapon over very long ranges, I recommend using something like a precision stock or a balance stock to counteract this idea of the second shot deviation. When trying to fire it full auto at close range, it has some very nice deviation in my opinion, and you can get away with spraying even on medium ranges from time to time. However, at long ranges, I do recommend pacing your shots and actually going for some precision headshots uh, in order to down your enemies. Now, the damage that the A94 does is extremely low. However, that is not an issue because it does fire a two-round burst. Now, the damage that it does, you can you know multiply it by two in my opinion because each time that you click, it does fire two shots. At close range for a body shot, it does 17 to 19 damage. For a headshot, it does 36 to 40 damage. At medium range, it does 16 to 18 damage for a body shot and 34 to 38 damage for a headshot. At long range, it drops off to 14 to 16 damage for a body shot and 29 to 34 damage for a headshot. Now, at close range, if you're firing your enemies with the A94 fairly accurately, you can expect to hit both of your shots most of the time, giving you a total of 80 damage possibly for a headshot. Now this is not a one shot headshot but I think combining with something like CQC ammo would make this weapon very deadly for maps such as Sharky. However the ammo count is around 24 bullets per magazine which in my opinion is very low for the A94. 
Because you shoot two bullets each time that you click your mouse, you will go through your ammo very quickly and you will have to reload quite often. Speaking of reload, the reload in my testing came around to be around 3.28 seconds, which is fairly quickly for a assault rifle, especially when compared to other assault rifles. This allows you to get in and out of cover fairly quickly and it allows you to go back into the battle with a fully reloaded magazine ready to combat your enemy. Now I strongly strongly recommend using something like Viper Max to buff up the damage and the ammo count at the same time because the damage is quite low and you do want some increased long range damage because this weapon is a very good long range beast because it has some insane accuracy especially with a good stock like the tactical stock. Because you have such low damage at long ranges it would kind of counteract the accuracy of it but if you use something like Viper Max you are very you know you are complementing the accuracy of this weapon and it becomes a very good beast over at long ranges. Now if you are not very used to something like an A94 um, getting some long range kills can be pretty tedious at times because of the second shot deviation however with some practice you can actually get some very nice long range kills. When playing on maps like Omen or something I recommend using something like an M145 if you have it. As you will see in a moment I will be using the Desert M145 and the A94 along with the tactical stock which I was using gave me some very nice accuracy over long and medium ranges. Now speaking, in sights, speaking of sights in general the, um, the sight of the A94 Abacan is a hit or miss in my opinion. Some people may like it some people may not. In my opinion it's a uh, very nice sight if you get used to it however it can be obstructive at times because it is it has a very nice distinctive dot to it which allows you to get some precision headshots uh, you know on enemies that are behind cover for example however sometimes it can get bi uh, a bit a bit obstructive so i would strongly recommend if you do not like that to go with something like a red dot or holographic sight now if you click on the summary button at the beginning of the video, you'll be taken to this part of the video where I'll give my final verdict on the weapon and give you my recommendations. Now the A94 I recommend to anybody willing to spend 17,500 credits, which is very low in my opinion. The A94 is a very unique weapon, clocking it at a very high rate of, very high rate of fire with a unique 2 round burst. It has some low damage, but if you fire this weapon very quickly you can output a lot of damage in a short period of time. It has an insane accuracy over close to medium ranges, however at long ranges the second shot deviation can get pretty tedious. Using something like tactical, viper and precision on this weapon is very nice or using something like precision, balanced and viper will be also very good for this weapon because of its sheer accuracy and damage over longer ranges when used with viper max or using something like balance type to combat the second shot deviation and using it for fairly close range engagements. All in all the A94 Abacan in my opinion gets a 8 out of 10 rating because it's a lot of fun to use and it's unlike any weapon in Battlefield Play for free and when used correctly you can get a very good score with the weapon. Well guys that has been the gun review for today, hope you guys enjoyed it, tell me which gun you want to see next. For now guys this has been the man by Pikify. And I'm out. Uh, we can't stop. Failure's not an option. Learn from our mistakes. We adapted as a doctrine. Locked and reloaded and blood, sweat, devoted. Thought that they could keep us down. We would stay demoted. But nah, from the ashes we rose. And dreams manifest through the actions we chose. On time to slack, I tip my hat to he who actually knows. If you're planning picture perfect, then you have to read. Pose. You can't harm my army. I ain't through recruiting. A bit of Michael Max with a splash. A Huey Newton. Perseverance be the answer. Like the shoes I hoop in We won't rest until the day we get restitution They thought they let us fall by the wayside But we gon' fight into the building Face I got an aspiration They healing these lacerations Fascinations with fabrication So tell me as a nation Who you gon' call when you're back against the wall And you got no time to start